Hello and welcome to the MBS show episode number 360. I am your host Norman Sanzo. And in today's episode review, no, that's the other show I do. <laughs> uh in today's show, um I'm hosting solo again. And well, let's jump in right into the news. So how do I do this again? It's been a while. Uh yes, this one. <laughs> so In the news, Patton Oswalt well talk about his upcoming episode with his daughter and stuff. So um, the takeaway from this is that uh, he was on um, the Conan O'Brien show, something like that. I I don't really remember the show's name, but uh, long story short, he was talking about his appearance in um, season nine's My Little Pony and. From what they say in the interview is that um, Hasbro contacted him, say if you want to do this gig again, and uh, they have some characters that they want to add in. How how do I go into this without spoiling? So long story short is that um, they invited Patton Oswalt back again, and they asked if. He His wife and daughter went to join in. Uh, if I do remember right, his wife does do voice acting, and his daughter is kind of new to the whole world. And if I'm not mistaken, from what he said, that uh, his daughter is kind of well, <laughs> uh, like for a better word, a diva when it comes to acting. So. <laughs> um, go check out the interview. It's in the show notes on EQD and stuff. Uh, it's not that long, and it's a very fun watch. But what he mentioned is that his daughter might be uh, waning away from ponies. Uh, he's she's more into Harry Potter now, Spider Man, and so on. And I, I don't blame her. Uh, she did the whole recording thing a while back now, and the show is kind of airing now. There, there's a huge gap. There's huge, there's a huge gap. And there's the thing with animation. There's that whole um, w- workload where voices are recorded first, and then you get to do the animation. That takes time. Then yeah, like animation takes a long time. And yeah, it's fun and all, but uh, you know what? This is just awesome. Go check it out. Go check it out. Uh, second news on the docket today is. Um, no equestrian girls short this Friday and so on. So, um, if you have been watching the equestrian girls short thing, uh, from what I understand here, it's on a weekly basis every Friday. So that's cool. And other than that, um, someone asked the director for it. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Kay Henley. So, um. The tweet goes um, something like this: uh, "Hi, the Equestria Girl series is great. I'm enjoying the series so far. I can't wait for it to come this year. Uh, just one question: It's season two, more than forty shorts without spoilers or anything. Blah blah blah." And uh, Handley says, um, "Sorry, this is not my information to give out. Hasbro have to be the one." To release that info, I can't tell you how many there will be, but there will be more. You will just have to be patient. And it goes on and on. So, um, long story short, someone asks how many episodes of the Equestria Girl shorts for season two are they? And the director says. She can't really tell, or she or he. I, I'm not 100 sure. My bad if you're a he, and my bad if you're a she. Uh, me derping now. But anywho, director says um, can't really tell because not my position to tell. I just make the cartoons. Hasbro is the one that has to disseminate the information. So for now, we got no idea how many they are. But judging from last one, probably forty or more. We can just guess. Who knows? They're they're really quick shorts. So, um, yeah, no shorts this week. Probably a break for new episodes, something like that. But we wouldn't know. Mm. 
But anywho, let's go on to my other favorite topic. What have we been doing with my week? That sounds so bad. <laughs> I mean, what have been, what have I been doing with my week? Yes, that's more proper. So for my week, um, ain't really done much. Here's the thing. Um, there's, there's nothing going on in the Pony News that much. Season nine has been going well, so that's awesome. But beyond that, there's nothing there. Like news is kind of slow. A pinch of salt here, a pinch of pepper there. So I'm just saying. So it's not much in the pool of news. I'll be lucky to have one or two. Like this week, it's just two. Sometimes I do miss the day where I get a bunch load of. Um, news where I can just talk about it, but for this one, um, I just have to deal with one or two, so it's it, it kind of speed up the process, and you don't have to suffer long with me. <laughs> um, but let's see, uh, my week, my week, my week. Um, nothing new really. I just been doing the Magic of the Gatherings, uh, having fun playing that. And it's a really fun game. Yes, uh, I do recommend you trying it out if you get the chance. It's complicated for people who haven't played the game before, but I'm sure your uh, local game shop would love to teach you because they would love to get more players in and stuff. And if you do not want to go to your local game shop, you can always go to um, Magic Arena. That's a free online magic thing, so yay, that's another option. But beyond that, um, I finished playing Resident Evil 2 Remake Claire A. Uh, it was a fun game. I. Hmm, how do I put this? It's a really fun experience. Like, I've never really played RE2 Original on the PlayStation 2 or Nintendo 64 or wherever it was available on. So I never really, I'm sorry, um, how do I put this? I was never really attached to it. But after playing this one, I felt like it was a good balance of horror and action. And I'm currently going through Leon B now. And, huh, how do I put this? Leon B is a very confusing game. Let's just say that I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I I don't do good with horror, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I um that's about it, I guess. Uh, the things that I've been doing, I think I've watched. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's this week, but I did watch Shazam or uh, Captain Marvel. If you want to be, um, <laughs> I don't think so. They call him Captain Marvel anymore. But yeah, Shazam. Uh, Shazam was fun. It's it takes liberty with its story a bit, like any other comic book adaptation. And it was a lot of fun. I, it was a lot of fun. Like, I seen the trailer a while back and thought that, hey, I need to watch this movie because it looks like fun. And you know what? It was a lot of fun. I got my money's worth. And if you have no idea who Shazam or the lore behind him is, you go in enjoying if you are a fan of Shazam and know the whole lore about him, some things might irk you a bit, but hey, um, it's a good start. The downside is that Shazam and the DCEU, um, from what I understand, there's no more connected universe anymore, which is kind of sad. But I, I don't think they have the time and effort to do what Marvel did with its universe, MCU. But here's what I'm thinking. like They probably should just connect all the universe together. So if they want to do a crossover, it will make more sense. Like Even with Shazam, they keep referencing Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Like, they, they just reference the Justice League a lot. So why just not continue on with that fact like it's just a lot of fun uh, so yeah uh, that's Shazam and well that's my week I guess 
so well let's wrap this up so if you have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the gmail.com you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, the show... We have this other show called the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And... Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sefi Hartsong, and Totera reviewing, reviewing Pony Comics episodes and also movies. Sometimes we like to derail from ponies and do other shows. Recently, we did Pokemon, and a uh, favorite is Miracle City Bug. And a Patreon thing that we're doing is um, Who Now? Mm, oh, Little Witch Academia. That's one thing that we're doing. But for now, we're putting things on pause for a bit just to clean up the season 8 episodes. We have like probably 4 more episodes to finish. So yay, uh, we'll be finishing soon. Then we'll get back on track because um, I would love to talk about other things other than ponies sometimes. Like what um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this one movie it's a really classic comedy movie and it's been it's been my brain thoughts like i i really want to do it but for now i have to hold back a bit because i just need to finish this and also need to do some patreon things so yeah um that's on the horizon as they say so yeah that's show notes go check it out if you'd like to support the show, you can also do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Like. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes and probably seeing why am I not staring at the camera in like uh where's yeah i have a script here where i read <laughs> this part <laughs> uh, so i'm sorry about that but my memory is not that, that awesome but anywho um let's wrap it up i have been norman sanzo thank you for joining me and i'll see you next week with another fun episode of the mbs show see ya <laughs>